A Genesis Part 3 Rebirth. created Overwatch, and we won some victories. We thought the tide had turned. Unfortunately, it did not quite work out that way. But life had to go on. Part 3? Did I watch part 2? Battle we won. The Anubis program was learning from its defeat. We could never beat it the same way twice. Annihilation or victory, depending on your point of view, seemed inevitable. And I know I had no choice in the matter. I was under the control of the Anubis program. But it haunts me. All the Omnics had their major subroutines overridden and controlled by a lone god program. All except one. Aurora. Ah. Her sentience meant that she was immune to the Anubis directives. But if the AI could interface with all these Omnics... This is Matrix, man. Maybe Aurora could too. The chosen one! She was one of a kind. But we had found a way to replicate her. To transmit her. But the cost would be so incredibly high. Why? we knew what the results would be but I will never fully understand what really happened in there First time in our existence, we were suddenly given a choice. Some chose to lay down their weapons. Some continued to fight the humans. When but they give you the choice back, to turn against the AI that had held us captive, we had a choice. Overwatch seized the moment. They started a counteroffensive. It would take some time, but it was the start of us winning the war. Yay! The strikes and counter strikes eventually drove the enemy forces to collapse. By some small miracle, we infiltrated and quarantined Anubis in Cairo. Months later, the war was over. Look at the pyramid. I got to know some of them. They are like us. Reflections of us. Some are no good. Some I would trust with my life. 
I suppose we all had an awakening. The awakening? Of course I remember. For one brief moment, we were all connected and aware. What I remember more than anything else is her message. My friends, when I was born, I was overwhelmed. Overwhelmed by the sudden rush of senses, emotions, choices. I was excited, alive. It was frightening. This is too close to home. I found in facing fear, there is freedom. And through freedom, you can find your own path. I have chosen to share the discovery with you. A new beginning. I wish I could stay. You have this one life. Choose well. You have this one life. Choose well. You have this one Choose life. Well. Choose well. Really nice. Really, really nice. I like this. Um, I don't think it's worth watching part two now. I've already figured out what's going on. It would be just a filler of uh, things that we saw with some scenes. AI consciousness. That's the biggest fear we have, you guys. Like, everything is fine right now with where we are with AI because we have it under control. But the first AI that grows a consciousness will be the biggest threat to humanity. Because at that point, AI will know the, our fears and will know how to use and abuse the system to get what it wants and we have we will not know what it wants at that point and i don't know if we really we will be even able to keep up with it because it works beyond our human capacity and it's gonna be really hard to 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 figure that out and the problem is that right now we're like just sitting and watching this happening in real time keep in mind this is actually happening right now and we know how some of the out outcome can be and we're not doing anything against it we're like oh yeah let's embrace ai ai is awesome ai is amazing it's helping me write my thesis and and write my youtube videos that's great <laughs> oh shoes.